Hi, I'm Lou Horn. If you're sick of gagging on awful tasting whey protein shakes, then you're in the right place. I'm about to show you how to mix your protein powder quickly and easily, and a number of options for making it taste as good as something you would order in your favourite cafe. You wouldn't think too much can go wrong simply by adding a couple of spoonfuls of powder to a glass of your favourite fluid and stirring it with a spoon, but what should be a straightforward process can turn out to be a mini disaster. So here are my recommendations for mixing your whey protein. Your results may vary a little between brands due to different ingredients, but overall these recommendations should apply. This is how to mix whey protein. Firstly we're going to do it in water. And firstly, and most importantly, use a dry spoon for mixing process. When protein has been added to the glass, only then put in the spoon and start mixing. A clear round bottom glass is preferable to use for mixing as any whey powder not mixed can be seen easily through the glass and scraped off with your spoon and mixed till fully absorbed. Also using a round bottom glass helps in the dry powder not catching in the crevices in the bottom edge of the glass. Do not put too much whey protein powder in at once. If the dose is two to three scoops, don't put them all in at once. Place in one level scoop at a time, stir till mixed after which add a further scoop. If you are taking the third scoop, follow the same process. However, this said, I personally prefer to use two full scoops, put it into the top of 100 ml of water, stick in a dry spoon and stir briskly and have no problems at all. One. And two. Take your dry spoon. Put straight into the liquid and stir briskly. As you'll notice, none sticks to the spoon and none is sticking to the side of the glass. It mixes perfectly in 100 ml of water. There is no need to use a lot of liquid especially water, when mixing your protein. I recommend using 100 ml of water or fruit juice and use from 100 ml to 250 ml of milk or rice milk. Rice milk is the best tasting. We use this particular brand, but any brand will do. Let the mixture settle after stirring. Wait about 10 seconds. By letting the mixture settle after stirring, it allows the taste to blend itself nicely into the mixture. This 10 second also allows any undissolved powder to float to the top where you can use the spoon to give it another quick stir before gulping it down. Use the spoon to scrape and eat any of the mixture sticking to the glass. Cheers! There you have it. A great way to drink whey without the lumps. I hope you enjoyed this information. Thanks for watching.